travelers in this video we're going to the Colosseum. March of Constantine. Platform that we're looking at right here that they're doing some work on. They used to have a very, very, very tall statue, a very tall bronze statue of Nero, the Colossus of Nero. It's the probably about four of those trees tall. It wasn't originally in this spot. In fact, Hadrian moved it here. When he moved it from over in the, somewhere over there in the Forum. When Hadrian moved it, it took 22 elephants to move it over here and then to lift it up and put it in place. That's pretty crazy. They say that it fell into ruin around the 5th century AD. They probably used the bronze that it was made out of to make the cannons at Castle Sant'Angelo and also the colossal statue of Constantine. If you go over here onto the, onto the sign, there's actually a picture of, of what this statue might have looked like. So this is what they think that the statue possibly looked like. As you look at this, you'll notice some lighter stone and then you'll see some brown bricks towards the top and, and over there. So the lighter stone is actually travertine, and it's part of the original structure of the Colosseum. Uh, most of this travertine over the years has been stolen and used to, to build other things like St. Peter's Basilica and hospitals and, and other churches and stuff around Rome. So. I, the materials, the original materials of the Colosseum are all over the city in the Vatican. But then the brown bricks that you're seeing is actually where the, the church actually rebuilt parts of the Colosseum. To make it a better place to be, basically. <laughs> Close up of the travertine. Deeper in. There's my brother, it's a horse's ass. <laughs>
up and quite like the gigantic ancient steps. <laughs> Graffiti by spectators of the of the game. It's kind of hard to see on this one, but there's a drawing of a of somebody there. Somebody hunting a, a lion. A couple bears fighting. Uh, that's pretty cool. area is where the poor people, peasants, and the women used to sit. cross right there that is was put in by the Pope and I believe the 1600s and it was to commemorate all the Christians who had lost their lives here in the Colosseum which in fact never actually happened all the executions for the Christians happened over at Nero's house <laughs> but yeah that's neither here nor there down there you'd see the the nice marble seating there. That is where the aristocrats would sit. And right about where the, the cross is is where the emperor would sit. Top section way up there. 
it used to take about an hour to walk all the way up there and that was what you had to do if you were one of the really poor people who had got a chance to come to the Coliseum to watch the fights. I can relate. One time I had tickets in the, at the very top of the hawk's nest at what is now Lumen Field in Seattle. I had to walk all the way up to Double R, which was just crazy. I can't even imagine what it would have been like to go all the way up to Double Z. I imagine that was very similar. When I was here six years ago, go down back underneath that platform out there. That was a really, really exciting experience getting to see where all the gladiators got to live and where the, the prisoners were and all that kind of fun stuff. You know, I think the coolest part about the Coliseum though, as of today, is that it's wheelchair accessible. You wouldn't think that it would be, but it is. So imagine a floor right in front of you. This is what it would be like to be ringside at the Coliseum for a gladiator battle. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video about the Roman Coliseum. Uh, please hit like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get reminded whenever we post a video. And we will see you in the next one.